Hey everybody, guess what? We're gonna do our experiment on water in our own backyard. Does anyone have any ideas of what water we should check? Uh, yeah, I'm glad you finally asked me. I think we need to go down to the park and check out the water in the spillway. Hey, great idea. Anywhere else we should check out water in our own backyard? I don't think I have any water in my backyard. There's some flowers and I guess there's a bird bath maybe. Okay, anywhere else that we can check out water? There is an artesian well that squirts water all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week in a field outside of town. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. So, any other, any other ideas of where we need to go? Yeah, I told you, maybe the river. Okay, great, so what kind of things do you think we're gonna see with all this water? I think we should consider our own tap water in our houses too. So, what is your hypothesis? Meaning, what are your guesses about what we're gonna find in that water? I think our water is going to be pretty good for the most part. I think it has some problems and I know there's problems with water all over the world and things are a lot worse there than here. So why do you think that is? Why do you think we have better water than most of the world? Because we have a lot of talent and ingenuity. We can also have a lot of money to make things. Okay, everybody, so we have our test packets where we're gonna collect our data and all the information that we have. We have water collection tools. We have a microscope. We have a GoPro camera. We have a thermometer and we have some pipettes to gather our water. I'm in the water, so I will get the water out of this stream. Hey, yeah, I wanna get the water and I'll come over here to help her get that. So what are we supposed to do with our data and how are we going to know what we're doing with that? You will have a color coded um, information on the back of your box that when you put your test strip in the water and in the test tube, then you'll see how that compares to the regular water that we are supposed to have Okay guys, so what do you notice about our water samples that we took at the Artesian Wells, Salt Creek, uh, the Franklin Park Minnow Creek, and the Iowa River, plus your own tap water? My water is not really out of a tap. It was out of a water bottle in my house. You're supposed to do both water bottles and tap water. Um, I looked at mine, but I think they all kind of looked the same. Yeah, that river water looked almost as good as my tap water. I'm not sure if the artesian water is supposed to be drank. When I drank it, it kind of smelled like dirty and feet and old eggs. Yeah, so we're going to look at how those samples compare to each other and possibly talk about water around the world. Okay class, so now we need to look at all of our data, look at all the colors and the different percentages of things in the water and decide what we see as differences. We're gonna chart these and talk about it. Uh, I just wanna know, well, how come our river water is pretty good? Yeah, it's better than most of the world. Um, can we raise money for other people and maybe, um, build some wells in Africa or something? How can we raise money to do that? I don't think we can build water wells or do anything like that. I really think we need to support what she's saying and, and try to raise money for these things. We need to reach out and help the world have water as good as we do. Wow, I'm really so proud of you guys for the things you're thinking about. So let's talk about that. How can we save money and support other places? Awesome, guys.